Over a week after Cyclone Freddy hit Madagascar, Malawi and Mozambique, residents are still feeling its devastating effects. Aside from the material damage, people are now facing major health risks. Hundreds of health facilities were destroyed or flooded. The flooding, compounded with the interruption of critical services, also means that waterborne diseases can spread more easily. The cyclone's devastation has raised public health risks, including the increased spread of cholera, area, vaccine-preventable diseases, even COVID-19, and malnutrition. And of course, support for trauma and mental health is equally needed. Both Mozambique and Malawi were already grappling with cholera outbreaks. According to the WHO, cholera cases have more than doubled in Mozambique over the past week alone. In neighboring Malawi, which is battling its worst ever cholera outbreak, cases have continued to drop. But health experts worry that this trend could soon be reversed in Freddie's wake. For people on the ground, the threat of cholera is still all too real. Many were displaced and are now living in temporary accommodation centers. <laughs> We draw water from the nearby river. The river flows downstream from a graveyard. In the same area, there are pit latrines. With the rains, the latrines are filled with water, and all that stuff is being swept into the river we draw water from. So there is a risk of cholera. We also have children here facing similar risk because they too drink the same water. The WHO estimates that more than 1.4 million people were affected by the extensive damage, flooding and torrential rains in Malawi, Mozambique and Madagascar.